I'd like to talk about polymers. I'm particularly interested in the difference between a thermosetting polymer and a thermosoftening polymer. Now a polymer is a very long chain molecule of lots of repeating units that we refer to as the monomer. Now the property of the polymer very much depends on what the repeating monomer is. But we can also look at the properties of the monomer depending on the attractive forces between the chains. And so we're going to look at how this affects um, the polymer in terms of whether it's a thermosoftening plastic or a thermosetting plastic. Now two of the ways we classify plastics is to think about thermosoftening and thermosetting plastics. And I want to talk about the thermosoftening plastics now. Going back to what I was just talking about with the spaghetti, I've got two polymers here, going back to my Christmas tree decoration model. Here I have quite short chains and here I have much longer chains. Now, if I start heating these up, these are solid polymers, if I start heating them up, you can see they're now separated out and they can freely move over each other and we change from a solid to a liquid. That doesn't take a lot of energy. If I've got a longer chain, it takes a bit more energy to separate them out. And again, because they're longer, we talk about those intermolecular forces we have to break down. This would have a higher melting point than this one. But again, we're not breaking the chains themselves, we're breaking the intermolecular forces. Now once I've melted it into a liquid, I can then mould it into any shape that I want, and as it cools down again, the intermolecular forces come back into play, and it goes solid. If I want to then heat it up, I can melt it, reform it, and make it go solid again. So this is referred to as thermosoftening plastics because we can use thermo, we can heat them to soften them, make them a liquid, and then mould them. And we can keep doing this again and again and again. Now what we can do is we can take this thermosoftening plastic, which often comes in a granular form, and if I put it in this beaker and I add boiling water, that's going to heat up the plastic and get those chains moving. So therefore it will eventually turn from a solid into a liquid state that I can mould. So now it's a little softened, we can take it out and mould it into whatever shape we want. And you can see now it's much more pliable as so I can mould it into a shape. So what I've tried to do here is to mould mine into a butterfly. As it cools down this is getting much more solid and eventually it will go back to being a solid as it was in granular form. And if you want to start again, which I probably do, then all you need to do is to fold it up, put it back in the hot water, let it soften again and start all over again. So finally, let's look at thermosetting plastics. Now if we go back to my Christmas tree decoration model again, we had the thermosoftening plastic, but when you heat them up, the chains separate out. Now with a thermosetting plastic, what happens, either with heat or with a chemical reaction, we get cross-links happening across the chains. So if we have a look at this one, you can now see I can't separate out the chains. And if you have a look at it, you can see I've tied the chains together. And these are referred to as cross-links. So once you have a thermoset plastic, you can no longer go back to the thermosoftening plastic. This is a permanent reaction and you'll never get back to that soft plastic again. So this is a polymer you're used to, this is PVA glue, and I can do a chemical reaction to produce those cross-links and therefore set the PVA glue. If I take some in my beaker, you can see that it's very runny chains are running smoothly past each other, it's really liquid. If I then add a chemical called borax to it, this chemically reacts to produce the cross links across the chains of the PVA. And so if I take that out, and now you can see that we've produced a solid material because we've now got the borax cross-linking across the PVA and so now what we've done is we've produced a solid material which will bounce. In conclusion, if we have a look at thermosoftening plastics, very easy with heat to separate the chains, mould them and they will set 
and then we can remould them. Okay, with thermosetting plastics with heat, we can produce these cross links, and that produces a very strong, rigid plastic. And sometimes, rather than using heat, we use chemical and we change PVA glue into silly putty. I hope that's helped in your understanding of polymers.